Hey boys and girls, our book for today is called A Bed for Bear by Clive McFarland. And we borrowed this book from the Central Skagit Library. It was nearly winter and Bernard was getting sleepy. It was almost time for the bears to begin hibernating. There was just one problem. How could Bernard simply be expected to sleep in the bear cave? It was too noisy, too big and too crowded. That kind of place was right for some bears, but not for Bernard. So Bernard did what any bear without a bed would do. He set off to find a new place to sleep. Bernard knew there had to be a bed that was just right for him. Bernard walked into the forest. There he met Frog. Hi Frog, I'm looking for a new bed. Can I try your lily pad? Sure, Bernard, hop on. Wet isn't very comfy. Sorry, Bernard, it's hard to hop on a lily pad. This kind of bed is right for frogs, but not for big bears like you. Bernard kept walking. Then he came across Bird. Hi, Bird. I hear you have a great bed. Can I try out your treetop? Climb on up, Bernard. I'm sorry, but Wendy doesn't feel right. You get used to it, Bernard. I don't think so, Bird. I guess this kind of bed is right for birds, but not for bears. Bernard saw a rabbit on his way back on his way back to the burrow. Hi, rabbit. Your bed looks quite nice. Can I try your burrow? There's not really a lot of room, Bernard. You're right. This is a tight fit. I tried to warn you. This kind of bed is right for rabbits, but not for bears. Bernard kept walking. He stumbled into Hedgehog soon after. Hi, Hedgehog. Where's your bed? I sleep right here. What happens if it rains? I get wet. Oh, well, that's probably fine for hedgehogs, Bernard said, yawning, but not for a bear. Bernard was getting sleepier and sleepier. Luckily, he came across what looked like a fine place to lie down. This bed looks comfy, even if it is a bit lonely. Bernard was not alone for long. Bernard, what are you doing in my bed? A badger's... A badger set is no place for bears. Why not? Because it's for badgers. Bernard didn't know where else to look. He was getting ready to give up when a little voice asked, What kind of bed do you want? Well, that's simple, you see. I need a bed that's not wet, not windy, extra comfy, or extra roomy, with just the right amount of company. I think I know a place for you. Up ahead, there was a rather interesting bed. It was dry and calm, with lots of space and plenty of company. This kind of bed was okay for some bears, but it was perfect for Bernard. Bernard slept all winter in a perfect bed for a bear. All right, boys and girls, we hope you enjoyed that book. Have a great day.